Hyper Mufasa back with another NBA 2K18 video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to do this brand new cheese long step back drill move. Now, as we all know in, pre in previous 2Ks, we were able to do this move right here, but now it's kind of hard to do and it's very hard to find this move. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, when to do it for the best archetype. It's actually good for every single archetype in NBA 2K18. So if you guys are new to this YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe, hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Support your boy join the family but nonetheless now as you guys can see on your screen right here this is a very long step back i mean you can really you can actually activate this move around the free throw line you can actually step back way beyond the three point line so this move is going to be perfect for anybody coming off of screens or just trying to create some space at the park but nonetheless guys let's just go on uh, where to find this move so you're going to find this move under the shot section not the drill moves the shots you're going to have to pick a hop jumper normal 14 like i said this is one of the best hop jumpers in nba 2k18 just because of how much space it creates so make sure you guys have that normal 14 hop jumper equipped to your my player before you step onto your my court so like i said this move is going to work for every single archetype in nba 2k18 just because you don't need a specific dribble move attribute in order to unlock it now make sure you guys change your pro stick orientation to absolute i don't like to tell you guys just because you guys should already have it on uh, have it on absolute but th it is a must have to have it on absolute because having it on absolute in order to do the step back cheese is essential you absolutely need it so now let's just get on how to do this move so as you guys can see right here i'm around the free throw line the next thing i want to do now is to hit down on that x button and as soon as you have done that flick your left and i'll stick not your right your left and i'll stick down so again hit down on that x button and flick your left and i'll stick down and once you do that you'll be able to do this long step back cheese right here as you guys can see so just keep on remembering that you have to hit down on your left down stick right after you press down on that x button or more than likely you're going to pick up your dribble and that's just going to be frustrating it's going to piss you off at the park or your my court now right here i have it stopped just because as you guys can see i'm kind of on the left side of the court now since you do have it on absolute that means you, you just do the exact same thing hit down on the x button and flick your left down stick down that's it no matter where you're at at the court even if it's on the side that's all you want to do you do not need to hit down on your left down stick in any other way besides down when you have your controls on absolute and that's why it's going to help you out in the long run so just make sure you guys practice this move because actually it's a very easy move to do and it's going to get a lot of people as you guys can see right here this dude is most likely jump so a lot of people are going to jump when you do this move so this is going to set you up you shot creators or it's going to help you pull up for those three for you sharpshooters so just imagine doing this off of screens on a 2v2 that is some cheese so just keep on practicing like i said the main thing is flicking your left down stick down if you do not do that you are more than likely gonna pick up your dribble and it's just gonna be a whole mess but anyways guys thank you for checking out the youtube video it has been your boy at Profasa. if you're new please join the family support your boy i greatly appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one peace